Engage! So this is a cajon. I made one similar to this in a previous video. You can go watch that after this. I made the other cajon for a friend and after seeing that, our friend went out and bought this one. It was accidentally dropped and there's some damage in here they want me to look at. Uh, there's a screw poking through some of the plywood in there and uh, the snare is not engaging properly. So we're going to have a look inside, see what makes this thing tick and how it's different from mine. We'll also check and see if there's any other damage and repair that as well. So if we turn this around, you're looking through this hole and see some of the damage that has been done. So you can see right there where the screws split a couple of the plies on the plywood. I see the same type of thing on the other side and it goes, the split goes all the way up to the top. Those will be easy to fix. Just some glue and re put the screw back in. So looking at this line here, I'm not sure if that's a crack in the ply or if that's a whole other piece of plywood attached to the other piece. Like there's a piece, you've got the side and then another piece and then they put another piece on top of it. Uh, we'll find out when we take the front off. The main complaint was that the snare part here was not engaging up against the soundboard here. As you can see over here there's two detents and then a little stop right there. That stop prevents it from going back and this goes into the detents. There's another two indents back here for a second part back here. So right in the center here is a hex screw. It seems to be kind of loose. So the ball part of the detent here isn't being pushed in to the actual hole that uh, is supposed to catch them. And then over on this side here, there is an extra piece of plywood here. So it goes from the outside here all the way over to here. And then there's just that little bit there that they added on. I'm not sure what this is here for, but it seems to be interfering with this really going into the deep tent. So I can get to go back, but it's not hitting that detent. When I try to go forward, there's just not enough leverage to overcome this interference here while this is too far this way. Just move back and forth here. So I'm going to tighten this screw up first and see if that solves the problem. This goes into the handle. Otherwise I have to come back and remove some of this wood here so this can move freer. But just pushing it this way with that screw should remove it from that interference of this other piece of plywood here. So metric or imperial? Five millimeter seems to fit. So grab the handle here. Oh, that is really loose. So apparently that was it. It was just a loose screw going into the handle over here. And I didn't even have to remove any of this wood. But I still need to fix the cracks in this plywood here. So what I was saying about that extra piece of plywood they put in here, it's not quite right. There's actually three pieces of plywood. There's the outside piece, which is this piece here. Then they added another one, and that goes from about here over to here. And that seems to be just the screw strip here. They're not screwing into this outside piece of plywood. They added a piece just for screwing in here. I still don't know, quite know what this is other than to help push the uh, snare stuff over to the other side. As I was taking the cover off, most of the screws look like this. Just a flathead Phillips screw. But there were four other ones. That was a much longer screw with a head that set right on top and it didn't go in flush. I'm not exactly sure why they did that, but it was these four here. And these are the ones that are cracking. And these are also the hardest ones to get out. You can see they've got like a washer built into them. So I'm going to put some glue in behind those holes 
in the cracks, get it down inside in the plies, and then clamp the plies up tight. So to make this repair, I'm just going to use some wood glue, in this case Type Bond, Type Bond 2. Don't need a 3. It's not going to be out in the weather. Don't need all that much. It's probably more than I need. But I want to get it down into that crack, so I'm going to thin it out with a little bit of water. Less than 10%. There we go. That's about the consistency you want. This will help get it into the crack and seep it down into the crack. Alright, let's see if we can do this together here. Well, you can see the crack down in there. I'm just going to put some glue in there and push it down into the crack. I can't film this and do it at the same time. My hands just get in the way. So I have it up in clamps, one on this side, two on the other side. I want to leave it face down like this and put the glue in from the back. So that way I could use gravity to help the glue seep down into those cracks deeper before I clamp them. Now I just gotta let it dry. So it's the next day and you can see my two glue spots here for that side and there's one on the other side. I gotta get in there and try and clean that up a little bit. Uh, but even still it's not nearly as bad as the glue squeeze out that's on, from the factory. That was pretty bad. I may try to clean that up a little bit too. And here's the one on the other side. We didn't need another one up here because this piece of wood is here for the, the handle to be, go into. So I couldn't get to that one. And in here you can see the glue squeeze out from the factory. Another interesting thing to note is that there's another piece of wood around the sound hole. I don't know why they did that. Maybe just to give it a bit more girth if you want to put a microphone or something in there. Looks like they got it connected with staples. So like I was mentioning before, we've got the bigger screw here than, and these are the ones that go out here, but these, there's four bigger screws that go in these holes here, and these are what were causing that split. So I'm going to drill these out a little bit bigger so they're less likely to split the plies of the plywood. I'm going to go with a 7 64 inch drill bit. So since these are so long, I'm going to put most of the way in with the drill, and it's got it set to like a clutch on three, so it won't go very far. And then I'll do the rest by hand, so that way I don't accidentally cam out and scratch the top of the soundboard here. Now I'll just put in the rest of the screws and we should be done. So as you can see, there's no cracking in the plies anymore. They're all stuck together nicely. And then over on this side, you can also see that there's no cracking in the plies anymore. Nice and tight. All right, so when tightening these three screws down with the screwdriver, they just kept spinning, so those holes are stripped. I got to go in there and fix those. Uh, just uh, toothpicks and glue. So now I can just let the glue dry, and then I can put the screws in, and we'll be done. Disengage!